Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a swatches and review of the new BH Cosmetics Foil Eyeshadows. Um, they're coming in a palette like this and there's a total of 28 colors. Um, I will do the review after the swatches so basically how I'm going to do this is I'm just going to start with the lightest shade then go this way and just do them like that so you guys will know what colors that I'm swatching and then just stay tuned and I'll have a review after the swatches and as always thank you guys for watching. Alright guys, so I hope that you enjoy those swatches. So I'm going to kind of go over some pros and cons with this palette. Um, the first thing that I do want to mention is um, the color selection. And the color selection is really great. You get beautiful, vibrant pops of color. You've got these mustard shades, which I feel like are something that's really coming in. And then like I said, you've got some more neutral shades, some copper colors. I think that they put an amazing range of colors. I do like the packaging just because I can see everything through here. Um, the only thing that I've noticed is some of my shades when I was working with them and swatching them, they are coming, the pans are coming out, but you can just glue those back in if that's a problem. Um, the first time I tried this on my eyes, I've got to be honest, I didn't like it because some of them have some kick up and they still do. And some of them are creamier than others. I find that the dark shades worked a lot better on my eyes than the lighter shades did. And these lighter shades, like I said, they do have some kick up in them. And they're not like super creamy. Um, but when I add Fix Plus or this e.l.f. Um, Makeup Mist and Set, when I spray that on my brush and then pick these up, they're super creamy. They've got that foiled look. And I love them that way. But like I said, on their own, I feel like they're not, like, they don't blow me away, I guess. The darker shades, though, I don't have to use, like, Fix Plus or that e.l.f. spray with because the darker shades are, like, I feel like a lot creamier um, than most. But, like I said, again, like, especially this row right here of lighter shades, they do have quite a bit of, like, kick up and stuff like that and the worst one is this orange one right here which is one of my favorites but like I said add some fix plus and it's fine also I noticed when I was working with these on my eyes that if I really kind of um, like went like this with my finger and kind of got that first layer off that when I, the product underneath was a lot better um, 
like I said, these blues, I mean, as you can see, they are pretty pigmented just with, you know, swatching them now. But when I first got this and was like swatching it, I was a little disappointed. But like I said, once I got past that first layer, it was a lot easier to work with the shades. Um, this palette, I believe, is $11. It is a new edition. So, I mean, for $11, I think that this is a great deal. I don't think that these are comparable to like the L'Oreal Infallible um, eyeshadows like this. I don't think they're as creamy. Um, and like the Makeup Geek ones, I feel like that's kind of what they were going for, but I don't, I don't know, I don't think that they're that quality, but like I said, you get 28 eyeshadows for 11 bucks. And again, like I said, you can just add some Fix Plus, or again, you can use some of the shades on the own. There is just a little bit of kick up and a little bit of fallout, which I know not everyone will like. But overall, I do really like this palette, um, and I think that if you are on the fence about it, then I would get it and give it a try, especially if you haven't really like experimented with foil eyeshadows. But if you definitely want that foil look on your eyes, I would definitely recommend using like Fix Plus or something because that really helped dramatically. As far as the wear of these eyeshadows, I've, I think I've worn them a total of like 8 hours, um, 8 to 10 hours, or I can't remember what time I took my makeup off. But anyway, so the longevity of them is really nice and I like that because sometimes where I have hooded eyes and I have foiled eyeshadows, like it can start transferring up here and then I have like, you know what I'm saying, like the, my eyeshadow starts fading in the crease really bad. These I haven't had an issue with doing that so that is one of the reasons that I really do like this palette. But um, yeah, so um, they don't have any chunks of glitter in it. Um, the only one that does have quite a bit of like chunkiness to it like I said again is this orange shade right here um, but overall the other shades are fine like I said there is like a little bit of glitter like fine fine glitter in these but and it's just in like the select few too here's like a mustard shade but I don't know overall I really like it the only one too that I want to mention that's not like creamy whatsoever until I add Fix Plus is this dark shade right here because so I tried to use this one all over my eye for smoky eye and like it's almost like a matte, I feel like it has like a matte finish and it's not like the creamiest one. But I was still really impressed. For $11 and 28 of these, I was really impressed. So um, I'll definitely, definitely keep you guys updated. Maybe you'll see my favorites video or something when I get to kind of use it more. But um, if you guys like these reviews and stuff, just let me know in the comments down below. Or if you have purchased this palette, let me know what you guys think about it. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.